everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another Monday mini series where we're working our way through old blind bags in this Remember These series. Feel free to play along and let me know which ones you collected you remember or you miss the most. We'll choose our six, which leaves us six for next week. This series has been so much fun to do, but as all things, time, time moves on. So first up, some of our doubles. Let's grab one of the Shopkins, which leaves one more for next week, because of course, I think the Shopkins was in every video. And then also a My Little Pony, since I have two of those left. Oh, these are cute. These are some of my like first collectibles on this channel as well. And then on this side, you know what, Num Noms? This is from Series 2. I still have a Series 2 sealed. They're, they're such a fun time. I do hope they return. Then I have a Thomas the Train Minis very cool and cute let's grab our lps oh this one's fun this one's from the party styling pet series so pretty pretty old and then one more item you know what let's grab our transformers i'm still on the hunt for starscream Here's our six, and I think I'm gonna start from oldest to newest. And for oldest, there's actually two that are tied for the year 2013, which again is, is crazy to think, but feel free to guess which two do you think are from the year 2013. And a huge thank you to all of you who look forward to my Monday mini series. I've read so many sweet comments and it really keeps me motivated to create these and do more. I think the Monday mini series I planned so far in ahead and sometimes it gets a little hectic. I do have my next one planned out, but then after that, I don't know, but I really do want to keep doing them. Mondays aren't, you know, always the best day of the week sometimes, including for me. So I'm really happy to hear that you enjoy these. And like I said, it really does keep me motivated to, to do these videos and to stick to my schedule. That being said, one of our 2013 items is the season three Shopkins basket. You get two little cuties inside. Oh, season three with the cute little bread. I'm gonna blank on their names, I have a feeling, but I think this was the last series that had the cute little shopping baskets, perhaps? But they changed them into the larger baskets. Still no petkins yet in series three. Okay, ooh, that was, that was a hard one to open. Cute basket though. So let's take a quick look at the checklist. Oh, the little cheese Louise. That was so cute. I love the little kitty ears. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. And it was the stationery, the pearly stationery was the uh, special edition ones. Or were they the ultra rares? No, they were special edition. Okay. Okay, memories. <laughs> memories. <laughs> Let's grab this one. Okay, this one feels really small. Ah, oh, where's my scissors? And inside, oh, we have that little cutie from the, the package. It's not Millie Shakes, but she is a cute little ice cream. Her name is Susie Sunday, and she is a rare. So that's off to a great start. And there she was on the package. So maybe we can find the little toast next. And our second one is going to be, oh, it's the little spaghetti. I think it was Nettie Spaghetti. Oh, that's cute. That's like a huge amount of spaghetti. So on the checklist, oh yeah, we have International Food Nettie Spaghetti, and she's also a rare. Oh, that's cute. That was a really lucky pack. Then our other item that was also from 2013 is the LPS, the Party Styling Pet Series. And I love the artwork. I don't know what this girl's name was, if she had a name in the cartoon, but so cute. I know that's Zoe, right? So brings back a lot of a lot of good memories. <laughs> and inside we have oh my goodness, we have this cute little bug. They always make the bugs so cute. Look at that face. I think maybe it's a grasshopper with the legs and back or a cricket. She has a little bow because she's a cute little pretty bug. And I dropped her. Sorry. <laughs> and these are pre bobblehead which I love. Look at that smile. Okay, that's adorable. Then we venture to the year 2014 with our Transformers mini collectible. You could get them from different series, but I'm still on the hunt for the G1 Starscream. So let us see. 
And, oh, we have a Megatron. A movie Megatron, I believe. Oh, he looks spooky. <laughs> but I do like the, the cannon gun. He comes with a little base. And then here we go. Oh, this is Megatron from Prime. Okay, my bad. <laughs> you get a little holographic puzzle piece. And then here's the one. So there's that star scream. So you get the G1, Prime, and that's the live action. So we have this guy. Okay. I have not watched Transformers Prime. Next up, we venture to the year 2015, and we actually have two items also tied for 2015. Uh, the first one is the My Little Pony blind bag. So this was the Little Bakery House series. So not the very first one, because I think that one maybe came out like two years prior. But these are very cute, and I remember they made the house as a playset, which I'm totally blanking on the name of everything. So inside, oh cool, they're all different colored ponies, and we have, yes, we have Trixie Luna Moon. I like Trixie. She's cute. I think they made a figure with her in her little magic hat, and it says she shares magic tricks. Very, very cute. I should do a collection video of these. I, um... I love these. They were just so cute and simple and miniature <laughs> for that time period. The other item that also came out in 2015 was this Thomas the Train mini. Here's hoping for like a decorative one. They had a lot of cool ones when they did like superheroes and they had different candies, which was awesome. And inside, oh cool, we have the flash. We did get a superhero one. That's neat. Okay, see that's that's awesome. And I just love the sound they make when they roll. And on the checklist they had the DC Super Friends category and our train is still named James, so it's James as the Flash. And they always had their names on the bottom there. And this was just a cool series. Look at the Joker, Harley, and then they had a bunch of other ones like a dinosaur and a spooky variant. Last up, we venture back to 2016 with Num Noms Series 2. So cute. <laughs> I remember going all in on Num Noms from the start. Oh, this was cute. This is where they introduced like the sushi ones and the pancakes. Some like really classic characters for Num Noms are in this series. Oh, I don't want to go to check this. So here's a look. Look at just how adorable. They had like the pizza ones. Oh, the burger. So this is where they had like the savory edition, which some of the scents were, were a little questionable, but that is okay. So let's see who's in here. And oh, we have a cotton candy one. Oh, and we have a stamper. I thought they were all lip glosses. Now we have the stamper. Yes. Okay. So that's fun. We're going to definitely open that. I remember having her as a little plushie. Oh, she's really cute. So I guess this is where Series 2 extended their series because on the back, this is where we have Twinsy Puffs. And she's adorable with her tongue sticking out. Hmm, she kind of smells like plastic. There's a hint of something sweet, but it's definitely more plastic. Maybe she just needs to air out. And on the checklist, I know she looks orange, but it looks like with the lemon, we have lemon gummy stamp it. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be more yellow, <laughs> but it's definitely not a birthday cake. And let's see if the ink still works. <gasps> it does. Yes. How cute. And of course you can always re-ink them. Here's another look at everything we opened today. Feel free to let me know which item was your favorite. As for me, this was another great trip down memory lane, but if I could only choose one, it is a hard choice, but I think I'm gonna go with our little cotton candy num noms. Too cute, and I love the stampers too. I and that'll do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in next week for our very final episode, and I will bring out all our classics that we've opened in this series. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.